I was born in antiquity. I was raised in blood-salted earth. I am pure, and I am complex. I am the beauty of the human form, and the darkness in the human mind. I am the violent release of strife within all men. I am a game played out masterfully over time. And all at once, with most brutal abandon. I don't think he's getting up! I have known many names. While my spirit remains unchanged, I am the soul of competition. I am the sweet science. I am boxing. I am boxing. I live on today, preserved in the primal quest to know, to see, to achieve who is best and deserving of a crown. I sit only in the space between bells. As I rest and listen, the orator speaks. The things that I know about boxing, I think it's the greatest sport on the planet, and I mean the whole planet. I am not contained by sovereign borders. Only the squared circle holds me, where I wait for my champions to carry me. The champions, the sport of boxing, but two great fighters and one great fight. That is what's important. And I want to tell you, the fight is here, Canelo. In Triple G, what could be better? Two great fighters in a great fight. You've seen them in their beautiful suits and nice smiles and that. They're very, very charismatic, but the ring first. First, it is in the ring where I feel the tension in the crowd, in the humanity that is my life's blood as the two were at last assembled, bonded by a crackling energy of the fate that connects them. Oloki, you are next, my friend. For the first time in a long time, you've got not just the boxing fans, you have the entire sporting world interested in this matchup. Good luck in September. La suerte es para los mediocres, my friend. You know, this reminds me of when I first fell in love with the sport. Way back, Sugar Ray Robinson was slated to fight Earl Turner, who was a huge drawing card in Oakland, California. I lived in San Jose and used to take a bus every day just to watch Sugar Ray work out. Finally, one day he noticed me, started up a conversation and much to my surprise, he gave me a front row ticket for his fight. That moment is when I really felt the love for boxing. And during the fight in the third or fourth round, I remember Ray had pulled Turner into a clinch and leaned over and winked at me. Well, that was, it was a kind of a wink of, how do you think I'm doing? And of course, Ray Robinson, in those days, everything he did was perfect. My years of privilege have always been paid for by the efforts of my champions. This was a, a time when everybody was on board with boxing. We had the great Sugar Ray Robinson and Jake LaMotta. They fought six times. Ray won five, Jake won one. Every fight went the distance except one, which was a 15-round fight, and Ray stopped him in the 13th round. 
And I'll never forget the film. They showed Jake leaning against the rope, battered and that, and he said to Ray, you couldn't put me down, Ray, you couldn't put me down. That's, that's the way boxing was. The breadth and depth of my influence is endless. The masses, the people, my soul is embraced closely and openly. This is my golden age. The golden age of boxing, Robinson and LaMotta. Great, great matchups always live up to expectations. You know, back in the day, boxing was part of society. You would get the fights on the radio. The outstanding fights would be shown on film in movie theaters along with the regular fare. Everybody talked boxing. During the Joe Lewis days, the Marciano days, it was a part of society. Boxing was that great. My lineage has lived on over the millennia, passed hand to hand, just as the ancient flame of Olympus. After the 1976 Olympics, we had another golden age of boxing. Sugar Ray Leonard came out of the Olympics and captured the hearts of the people. And we had the four kings. It was just a great time for boxing. My acclaim is buoyed once again by a quorum of champions. Four kings carry me and hold me higher than any single name ever could. Big names help our sport, help to carry it. But when you get two guys, two real, real solid champions, and they fight each other, that is the great time. I know triumph and vanity and optimism. I know nothing of fear. I step back and retreat only to gain advantage. This is my golden age, and I revel in the glory of the Four Kings. Four Kings, this was such a great time in boxing. I mean, you had four great fighters, and they all wanted to fight each other. I mean, there was nobody backing out or this or that, and I had the privilege in 1985 to be at the Hagler-Hearns fight. Eight minutes of hell. Two great fighters and just one hell of a fight. I am never so great as when my standard is borne into the ring by not one, but many great champions. But alas, I must wait for the flame to be passed yet again. I am boxing. I stand again poised at the dawning of my acclaim. The two who are my wings of ascension where I last meet in the sacred square. The screeching the cries of my life's blood have been answered, and in the end, only one will stand. The people are getting the fight that they demanded. This thing is everywhere. The orator speaks well of me again, as in the past, when I was spoken for by kings. The flame has been passed, and the world is on fire. I press my lineage on the two who would carry this flame. I see that it is well kept, but I demand more. I am boxing. If you are indeed the suitors of my deliverance, I ask only that you give me everything. Your unblinking eye, that's answer enough. I demand reverence for the past and for each other. Show me your strategy. Show me that you're smart. Show me the joy that you take in your position. Show me you possess the bearing of a champion. What you got? 
Bring the people together. Select only the finest and most worthy of foes. Crush them like they crushed those before you. Prepare your body and your mind. Show me your power. power. Show me your will. Your will. Show me speed. Are you a thinking man? Are you a punching bag? Let me look within you and know a thing that is pure and complex. complex. Show me the beauty of the human form and the darkness of the human mind. Show me the final release of the strife that is in all men. Play the game like a master with time and with suddenly brutal abandon. your name and lift me once again with your combined spirits. I demand this of you because you are worthy and you are capable. Bring to me my golden age for I, I am, am Boxy and I'm back. Saturday, September 16th, from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, live on Pay-Per-View.